Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did it again. Look at that. It's just stepping right over it. It's like, it's going, it's taking a nap. Look at that. It's, just it's just sleeping in there. Mongoose, you mock me. The islands that make up the Hawaiian archipelago are some of the most remote islands in the world. And on these islands, there is only one native land mammal. And that's actually the kind of mammal that can fly. It's a bat. All of the other land mammals that are on the islands of Hawaii in the present day are considered invasive species. Animals like rats, mice, mongoose, pigs, deer, sheep, goats, cows. All of these creatures are considered invasive and they have changed the ecological landscape of these islands in a considerable way. The local government spends millions of dollars trying to eradicate the invasive creatures that are on the islands and specifically mongoose. Today, our challenge is to help to eradicate the mongoose from the island of Maui, Hawaii. Mongoose are some of the smartest, slickest creatures that ever walked the face of the earth. And trapping them is no easy task. We are gonna use a primitive method of trapping that's called the Paiute deadfall. This method was developed and used by the indigenous people of what we now call North America, the Paiute tribe, many, many years ago. So we are here at the very spot that in a past episode, we tried to trap one of these sneaky, sneaky mongoose and we did not succeed. It was so fast. So to be clear, I have never succeeded in trapping a animal using the Paiute deadfall, neither as Agent Axe, and so technically speaking, we are beginners, although we have a little more experience than Agent Brightside. So Agent Brightside Did has his partner, Agent Shell. You ready, Agent Shell? Mm -hmm. Do you think that if you catch the mongoose that you'll actually eat it? Mm, no. You don't think so? <laughs> what? I'm well, gonna make it delicious. Exactly, so that's the plan, is that we are not only gonna trap a mongoose, we are going to make a very, very delicious meal. Agent Brightside and Agent Shell are gonna make their own trap. Agent Axe and I are gonna make our own trap. Then Agent Brightside and Agent Shell are gonna make a special mongoose recipe. And Agent Axe and I are gonna make a special mongoose recipe. A more recipe. special mongoose. We're gonna see yeah. whose tastes the best. Uh, mine, mine will. All right, so you all ready for the challenge? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do it. So we still have all the pieces for our previous Paiute deadfall here. Or maybe not the... But Oh, there's it didn't still another work one last time, and there's so I'm gonna start from here. scratch. Okay, so there's a much bigger rock right here, and whew, this is also somebody's bathroom. So. so the area we're trying to trap these mongoose in is actually an abandoned building site. So while they were doing construction here, they had extra leftover concrete. So this is just a, a slab of concrete that they, they poured from the concrete truck that was extra, it was leftover. This is Urban Survival 101. You just gotta use what you find around you. Some leftover concrete, perfect for killing a mongoose. So the reason that we're knocking these rocks off, we want a, as flat a surface as possible so that the mongoose doesn't have any room to not get squished and wriggle out. We should put that one on top of this one. On top of that one? Yeah. Okay, so we found two huge slabs of um, concrete here. And we're thinking, Agent Shell had a good idea of using this one as the base and this one as the deadfall so that it makes kind of like a sandwich, right? So this is our first, is this our first adventure together? Just me and you? Mm -hmm. We've gone on like dates and stuff, but this is our first time like out in the woods, just the two of us. So, all right, this will be lots of fun. I'm excited. All right, you ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. Huh. Look at that centipede. Technically, centipedes do neither bite or sting. They pinch with their front legs. Uh, so right by where these mongoose live, there is a graveyard. And actually, tombstones would work perfect. But because we are not terrible, terrible people, we're not going to take somebody's ancestor's tombstone and try to crush the mongoose with it. Here. So inside of most paracord, there is this little string stuff. And this is what we're gonna need for the cordage for the Paiute deadfall. So making a Paiute deadfall, you need four different pieces of wood. You need this little short piece right here. What's this called? Uh, trigger, no. Is it the trigger? Um, I don't know what this is called. This is a Y stick, see? It's got a Y there yeah. for the lever to rest on. You have the, I don't know what this is called, we'll, we'll call it the lever stick, yeah. No, that's what it's called. Okay, and this is the trigger stick. This yeah. is the stick that the mongoose steps on to trigger the Paiute deadfall trap. 
chicken. From my extensive research this morning, we need to get a few sticks. The deadfall requires a variation of sticks and we have to carve them in a, in a specific way to where it just triggers just right, where there's just a little bit of pressure on the trigger stick that it releases the deadfall weight. All right, we got our pieces set here. So essentially, it was like this and the pressure pushing down holds the rock in place. All right, we're testing out our bait. It works. It works. Oh man, that guy looks good. You wanna eat him? Yeah. So there's lots of different variations in size when it comes to how you can make a Paiute dead bull. And it really has to do with what you're trying to trap. And it also has to do with what materials you happen to have around you. You may not have a small enough rock, but you may really only be going for mice. So you have to make a bigger setup just to trap mice. It just so happens that I think this rock and this setup is actually perfect for the size creature we're catching, the mongoose. So what I want you as a viewer to come away with here isn't this is exactly how you should do a Paiute deadfall, but rather this is how you achieve the concept of a Paiute deadfall, and then you can make it up as you go in any kind of situation, no matter what materials you have. So once you have your sticks cut generally to size, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is have some objects that you can put underneath your trap so that it doesn't fall on your hands and crush your hands when you're trying to set it up. I made that mistake last time. Believe me, it's very painful. There we go. Level in here. All right, so this is my first time making the strap, so bear with me, but I think I need to cut my post stick a little bit shorter. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. So you want this to be at about a 40 degree angle, not quite a 45. So I left this Y stick long here. Better to be too long so you can cut it off than too short and you can't make it work. So I cut the lever stick a little bit flat on one end. So whenever we're putting a pressure on here and it's levering, it, it isn't able to twist or spin as easily. It holds flat. So the trigger stick, you need to be long enough to slide right up in here inside of the crack there and it's going to be wedged back there where the two stones meet and the y stick should be just a little bit away from this stone here and you need to cut it off right here where your toggle stick is going to be right up against it right there so cut it right there so now comes the difficult part and it's really better to have two people whenever you're doing this because it, it can be pretty tough with one person. Okay, so we have it set. Last time I had this piece of wood too high up. It was right in the middle of this little stick here, the trigger stick and the toggle stick. So as you can see, that trigger stick is barely hanging on. So any top pressure on this, boom, sets the whole thing off. All right, we have our trap set. That was very challenging. I did have to ask uh, Agent Tex for a little bit of help uh, setting it. Um, hopefully our setup here works, so we will see. So we have a few different items here to bait the trap with. We have chicken. We have. I, I'll, I'll take the bait. <laughs> Agent X. If I left popcorn under here, he'd probably get trapped. And we have popcorn, and then we have some beef jerky here. So I say we leave a little bit of beef jerky and chicken under there, and we'll make a trail of popcorn. So you have to very carefully place it up underneath there at the very back, right where the trigger stick is, to make sure that the mongoose has to get on the trigger stick. So I'm putting the bait underneath the trigger stick, right there. Put little bits here. So let's take the blocks out very carefully. Woo. Any kind of vibration will make that mess up. All right, mongoose, it's on. Oh, what? No, oh, no! I took the whole deal of chicken. I left the deal of chicken <laughs> right next to the trap. Oh gosh, I can't believe I did that. All right, there's a mongoose. 
Chris. Look, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, you're so smart. It's going around. Look at that, it's just taking it. They're so smart. Okay, did they take all the bait? There it goes again. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah. So we have to figure out a way to make it to where they have to step on the trigger. Okay, so we lean sticks on top of this stick. Yeah, okay. right over the chicken. Right. And then they have to That's step on idea. this to get to the chicken. Yeah. Okay, so we need some chicken and our friend Patrick here has some chicken. So we figured out they don't like popcorn and they really don't like the beef jerky very much, but they really love the chicken. So, so we're gonna put the safety right there. So I'm gonna break it up into lots of pieces so they can't just like that. But in order to get to it, they have to step on these deals right here. Okay. All right, mongoose, round two. Okay, they're already coming. Yes, 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 yes. Get with them. What the heck? It stepped nimbly right over it. They could definitely, oh, come on. <laughs> did, did it again. Look, okay, it's just stepping right over it. <gasps> What in the world? <laughs> Look at that, it's just stepping right over it. It's like, it's going, it's taking a nap. Look at that. It's, it's just sleeping in there. Mongoose, did you, did you, you mock me. Did you put the bark there? I did. Okay. So, this is where Agent X and Agent Tex slept. They slept in here on the and they were hunting for mongoose. There's like, you can walk all the way down there. In here. It's awesome. I love it. It's really destroyed. Yes! Good old fashioned way. Agent Brightside just had the best idea ever. I don't know if you guys ever seen any cartoons, but uh, in the cartoons they just have a little string and they just go Kick! when they're when the animal's under. Duh! The that's such a good idea. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna try the pull string method. I'm gonna tie this to the toggle and we'll yank it whenever they come under. All right, mongoose, round three. So we have the adventure agent's paracord leading all the way to the trap over there. Get, get ready, you gotta get it ready, yeah. tight, taut. Right, 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 right. I mean, you gotta, you gotta get poised to pull. Wait, go. <laughs> I shouldn't have said go so loud. As soon as I said go, it started running away. All right, bring the stick over here. So the mongoose have been very skittish since the trap got set off. So I'm thinking closer to their home will make them feel a little more comfortable. Yes. We got it. We got it. Oh, they got one. They got one. They got one. Take care of it. Here, Brad. Don't record that. That is good. All right, so there we go. We got a mongoose. I just can't explain to you agents how much respect I have for these mongoose. They are so, so smart, but not smart enough. We are so grateful to have this mongoose, and now we are gonna make a delicious and nutritious meal out of this mongoose. That mongoose? Uh-huh. Yeah, the, the, the way it acted ever, I noticed it around, was a little bit different from the others. So Patrick just said that this mongoose was acting particularly suspicious. So, not anymore. But. Not anymore, yeah. So Patrick's been living here for like eight years and the mongoose and the cats, um, he actually feeds them. So he's been fattening up the mongoose for us to eat. Thank mm -hmm. you, Patrick. All right, so our location was not performing at all. So we are now moving to our successful location, our same setup though. So we'll see if we can catch a true Paiute deadfall here.
All right, we're gonna try our hand at cannibalism yeah. for the second <laughs> week in a row. Uh, we'll see if we can use the head of the dead mongoose. So the first land mammals, other than the bat, that came over to the Hawaiian Islands was about 1,500 years ago. And it was brought here by the Polynesian people who originally came over in canoes. No other land mammal made it over here until many, many years later when the Europeans landed. The Europeans brought mice and rats, goats, sheep, cows, deer, and they also brought the mongoose. The mongoose was brought over because rats were becoming a serious problem for the sugarcane growers here. But they didn't put much thought into it because like my friend Derek here said, they pull different shifts. The rats come out at night and the mongoose come out during the day. So the mongoose multiplied and didn't really keep the rats in check. And the mongoose are a big, big problem because they eat bird eggs and insects and lizards that have been here for countless ages and they're destroying the ecosystem here because of that. Now you may be asking Agent Tex, why didn't I see the mongoose get squished? Why didn't I see you guys skinning it? Why didn't I see you guys doing all that? Well, unfortunately YouTube is scared of PETA and so we cannot show us processing this. So we can show what you get at the grocery store if the grocery store carried mongoose. We'll just be in denial about how things work when it comes to animals ending up in the grocery store. It's just like magic. But seriously, if you wanna see the full trapping experience and us processing the meat here, you gotta check out our app. We got the full episode on there. I'll put a link in the description down below to that. If you subscribe to the app, you can watch the full episode. Me and Agent Bryce are gonna season our meat with this. Uh, We got some. Yeah. And we. All right, so we have two different kinds of meals here. I made uh, a little island style barbecue. We got a little uh, seasoning and rub that we picked up. Um, let's say we got pineapple, it's fresh from Maui here. Mm -hmm. uh, we of got course. bell peppers onions, and a little bit of rice underneath. Nice, all yeah, right. I'm excited. What about you, what do you got? So what I have here is some cabbage, some mung bean sprouts, white rice again, and we also have a little bit of pineapple in here. I wasn't originally gonna do pineapple, but Agent Axe was so excited about this pineapple, so we ended up putting it in here. And also Agent Axe picked out leeks here, so we got leeks in it. I put a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Now Agent Axe says he doesn't want that. Good. You like that Asian shell? Yeah. Nice. It's good. So what are you eating on the mongoose? I don't know. Oh, that's the spine. So it's the spine and the meat that runs along the spine there. What it do you think? It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken? It tastes a lot of chicken. So I'm going to have a little bit of fat, liver, and some of this rice here with some leeks and cabbage. Man, that is so good. Ah. Mmm. Oh. The liver isn't strong. Oh, it's not that strong. Thumbs up. The liver is sweet. Taste it. Mm. Taste it. Just by itself, mongoose. it's mm. sweet. Thumbs up for mongoose. Mm. Oh, man. This is delicious. Yeah. yeah, this is really, it tastes very much like a chicken wing. Like, you know, a little chicken wing. Uh, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit more stringy, but cooking it in that ghee really, really work to keep that flavor in there and keep it moist. Cooking this over a fire, you really wouldn't get much meat out of it because it would just dry it out too much. Agent Bryce, what do you think? Uh, not a big fan, actually. <laughs> That's how it looks. Really, not really a big fan. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what Agent Tex is talking about. Here. I don't, that's your oh, man. I don't know if it's just like all the work we went through to get this, you know? That it's just like yours. got my appetite super up, but that this is actually me. delicious. Okay, so I'm going to try his, and if I don't like this, maybe. No, mm, maybe. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, that's great. So this is the ribs right here. It's like a little cute baby back rib. 
um, and the ribs are fantastic. So I honestly and genuinely like this mongoose. So um, me too. Mongoose is definitely a winner for me. me it is too. a lot of work for just a little bit of meat, mm. but it could keep me alive. I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite, and I've definitely <laughs> with ears? with Agent Tex here. I've definitely had worse meat. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lot better than rattlesnake. That is for sure. All right, so I got something special here for Patrick. So Patrick, um, I'm sorry, we ate all the mongoose. So is that, is that your agent adventure agent ID? Actually, it's, it's yours. One for me? I got one for you. All right. Yeah, Agent Odin. Oh, that's cool. Thank you much. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it might be something fun that you could clip onto your pack there. Can you watch me doing it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. Check it out. So he's got all these carabiners linking everything here. So Patrick, I just want to say I really appreciate you. Thank You've you been much. so helpful, and it's just great having a friend, a new friend, and you helping us out with learning about the, just this area has been so fantastic. Also. You really fattened those mongoose up because that, <laughs> that mongoose, it had a lot of fat on it. And normally these creatures, they don't have that much fat. So mm -hmm. thank you. It was delicious. All right, agents. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We had a fantastic time out here trapping mongoose. And we'll have to do a future episode where we actually get the Paiute deadfall system to work. We'll figure it out. We're going to outsmart these mongoose. But at least we got one. And all because of Agent Bright said so. Thumbs up. For no, all because of Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, yes, yes. All watch, your <laughs> watch your Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, no. All right, you guys. So the definition of an invasive species is an introduced organism that becomes overpopulated and negatively alters its new environment. Although their spread can have beneficial aspects, invasive species adversely affect the invaded habitats and bioregions, causing ecological, environmental, and or economic damage. Humans are invasive. Humans. So if you think about it, on the Hawaiian archipelago here, these islands, one of the first invasive species to come over, and the species that brought over all of the other invasive species, invasive species, were humans. We got all this talk about eradicating the mongoose and other creatures that are invasive here that are destroying the ecosystem, but should we be thinking about eradicating humans? So some people actually believe that. Some people consider Homo sapiens, human beings, to be an invasive species, generally speaking, on the world. And they think that the world would be a lot better off if humans were either a lot less populated or gone. In certain scientific communities, that's a popular way of thinking, actually. But that's a conversation for another channel. I'm starting another channel called Agent Tech. So if you want to see the conversation about all that, Check the link in the description down below. Go subscribe to my Agent Text channel. We're gonna have conversations about interesting stuff like are humans an invasive species? All right, agents. Well, until next time, remember, life's an adventure and love is a key and we love you. And love is a who and love loves you. Love caused you to exist and love continues to uphold your existence. That means that you are important, you are valuable, you are loved. Don't ever forget it. That's what I believe. Agent Tex out. Lollipops taste good. Out. Out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the next adventure.